We're starting off a multi-day trip up e here at the submarine mine, way up in the Okanagan. It's a beautiful area, absolutely gorgeous. Tons of scenery, beautiful views, and 20 degrees hotter than the rest of the state, as it always is. And a lot drier. Over in Spokane, it is just pouring rain right now, but out here just past Sherman Pass, everything is nice and warm, dry, and sunny. And now, Doug said he saw something with some people possibly digging into the submarine. And if what he says is correct, which I am inclined to believe at this point. Take, take a peek up there. Yeah. Check out the rocks here, though. I'm seeing Pretty cool stuff. sulfur colorings and such. Yeah, definite mineralization in this. This is supposed to be a gold mine, so... Just making my way up. Does it go back in very far? I didn't peek in. Oh, okay. But if we get skunk somewhere else, it's an option. Yep. Should be a very good option. And I've seen a lot of quartz and a very obvious vein structure all over in here. So this will be a really interesting one to check out. But our main target is the adit that's just up above here. I'm going to show you that here in just a second as we march back down. Because the main adit is the one that's visible on Google Maps and is really obvious. But we also can't go this direction too far even though we did see it at it because less than a quarter mile that way is the Canadian border. So it'd be very good for us to not get caught trying to cross the border just to go to a mine today. So we're going to follow Doug straight back up this way. Because there's a really good view of the waste rock pile here. Just wait until it's in view. And voila! Yeah. It's, it's that big of a difference. It's a beautiful spot. We're gonna hike the rest of the way up this road here and then Catch you guys up at the top of the mine. Be there soon. All right, we've come up a good distance now to the mine, just along that road down there. It's a little bright. And uh, found a very large quartz vein, pretty obviously exposed on the surface here. And there's a nice collapsed shaft right here, right on it. Doesn't look like it went very deep though. So, considering there's also very little other than iron staining and sulfur present, I'd say this one didn't pan out. It's a lot of very white quartz. But, uh, we're gonna head down with Doug, catch up the rest of the road that way, and see what we can find. Should be just a moment. All right, well, now that we're at the top of the edit here, very nice structure for to focus on. There we go. I don't know quite what that is, but we're definitely going to take a few samples home here. Because people have been digging up here. Looks like relatively recently. And there's a lot of rock left behind though. So we're going to take a look into the attic, which is just that right there. And so we can find it. So we'll follow Doug on over. We just want to confirm it's open before we get unpacked. It smell? Uh, the cows, actually. Oh, and a lot of birds are flying out of it. A little cow trough there. Yeah, there is. All right. Oh, yeah. Looks like uh, mine's open. Let's see what it holds. Oh, shoot. Is it full of water? Or? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's full. That's uh, a lot of birds coming out of there, too. Let's see what we can see. Yeah, 
I brought my boots, but that might even be higher than boots. I'm thinking it is. Damn it. Should have brought a shovel. Could maybe use that bit of pipe as a shovel. Although this water is just filled with sulfur. So. Birds are really going nuts. I don't think they like us up here. Absolutely reeks of this stuff. <coughs> yeah. Oh, shoot. oh yeah. Yeah, there's a few birds' nests in there. I mean, it goes further than my light's gonna show. Sorry, birds. Yeah, I'm gonna get my long distance flashlight out and we'll see. Cool. But uh, this one looks to me like it might be uh, a bust simply because it's deep. We'll have to see if we can dig it out. Yeah. But uh, We'll be back in a minute. All right, so as more birds fly out of the mine, this is what it looks like. All just covered in sulfur. And so much sulfur is coming out of here that I honestly think I'm getting a headache. So considering that the water does not look inviting or shallow, I think we're also gonna call this one here and see if we can investigate that lower edit. We have like four more mines on our to-do list. So, realistically, we don't have a lack of mines. We just have a lack of time to get to them all, so this might consolidate things a little bit. Well, we've come back to that lower edit here. Doug just tossed a rock in just before I hit uh, record. And it does sound like it goes a little bit of a ways. Mushrooms, big mushrooms. Yeah. If you feel uncomfortable, don't worry about coming back. Oh, oh man. I can't see far enough in, but it's it's a tight, tight squeeze. Yeah. I'm good there. If you want to look further, go for it. I'll go in, but uh, I don't know. Yeah. Can you uh, turn this on? You just oh, twist yeah. that head there. It's All always there? gets stuck. I'm gonna force it a little bit way out there. <clears throat> Pretty wet. Yeah. Not wet, like damp. You can see the mushrooms there. Yeah, I don't think it continues. Whoa! It doesn't sound like it does. No. Sounds fairly, so, fairly short. Considering all the spider webs and everything, I think I'm fine just kind of <laughs> looking and going. Yeah, getting this muddy off the bat is. Yeah. Especially when we're going to check know. out other mines today. Yeah, we have a couple other ones that look pretty cool. So. Yep. so That's one mine for today then. We're gonna try to hit up two, uh, well, uh, head up two, uh, up our count to two. But we're gonna try to maybe hit others if uh, things work out. This is just a really cool spot because mineralization is just very present all over the place up here. So, hopefully find some more to come and uh, Hopefully bring another video or two, at least for today. Definitely gonna have more videos tomorrow, or in my time tomorrow. So we'll catch you guys again soon. See ya. I'm filming the way down now. Uh, <laughs> I missed filming on the way up, but uh, yeah. yikes. Yeah, just take it slow, just take yeah. it slow. Your brakes can take a little bit of punishment. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. All right, doing good. good from here. And these are the worst turns and then it's actually a lot better, yeah.
this <laughs> bike too. <laughs> But it's a private residence now. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big old orbit and stuff. Yep. Lots of flat stuff on there. Yeah. A lot of waste rock through here, I think. We're gonna head that road straight up ahead there. Okay. And then there's the town, or quote unquote town of night. Alamandy Road. Oh. No public access. Alright, well, uh. Well, it's up that way? That's the Cabo, Texas, is up that How way. far? Pretty far. Yeah. No public access. I don't know what that means. Yeah, for like no. a public road, though, right? Uh. Let me check. It kind of just dead ends in some houses and stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah. Turn around and bother him. Yeah. Uh, where are we? Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's can, pretty, uh, yeah. it goes through private property there, so. Yep. Plenty of it, so. We can <clears throat> definitely. Cool. Well, we can probably see it from stuff. this side of the road, right? Yep. I'd be surprised if we didn't. Ooh, we barely made it. And there's some cars coming this way. I saw that guy go by earlier, actually. Huh? That's a really nice, nice, Ford, yeah. nice distinctive truck. Really well taken care of one. is just a private uh, set of houses and stuff. All right, so... Cabo, Texas is a good bit further down. Okay. Yeah. But it sucks that the road is private. Yeah. Probably a good reason for that, I imagine. Yeah. I imagine a bunch of people wanted to drive down it and like see mine and stuff, yeah. Like us. I think there's one right there. Yeah. Right here, so. 
good. This is, I can see the orb in from out here. Yeah. So we can get, can get a little better shot. Uh, maybe with that road up there, but yeah. Oh, a little bit. Oh, cool. Right there, yeah. That is the Cobb of Texas right there. see it from the road even. It's just a mill built in the 20s and supposedly a rather large mine back there somewhere. So hopefully we'll be able to find one of similar size and actually get into it soon. But it's a really cool site either way. We're gonna head on out and uh, hopefully find some more good stuff soon. <laughs> 